So I want to answer the question, does an engineering degree help pay off student loans faster? So most of you guys will probably be thinking, well obviously yes, because engineers, doctors, lawyers, they're in that category of being known to make a lot of money. But actually it all depends. And to me, there are three factors that really impact how you can answer this question. So the first factor is, it depends on how much you make as an engineer. The second one is, how much student loans do you have? And the third one that most people sort of leave out is, what is your lifestyle like? So let's actually start off with the first one. The first one being, depends on how much you make as an engineer. So what I'm gonna do is just give you a rough, average ballpark area of a civil engineer. So I'm talking about a civil engineer who just graduated from college, has zero experience, and he only has his bachelor's degree. So he's fresh out. So let's say you're a civil engineer, you got your degree, and you're making 60,000 a year. Again, this is just a ballpark area. You can look up the averages online, but I'll just say 60,000 a year for a civil engineer. So I chose this example of being a civil engineer making 60,000 because that's pretty much generic. When you think engineer, you're probably thinking civil engineer. But now let's go into more detail on this little factor. It depends on how much you make, and it also depends on your engineering degree. So you could be a computer engineer. They probably make more than civil engineers. You could be an aerospace engineer, you could be a mechanical engineer, environmental engineer, chemical engineer, all these different types of engineers. And they all make different salaries. And also a big factor is, depending on how much you make, depends on where you live. So if you're living in a really dense state like California or New York City, you're probably gonna be making way more than someone in a lesser known, less populated state. So depending on how much you make really depends on where you live and the degree type that you have. So that's why there's not really a true yes or no answer to this question. Next is how much are your student loans? So on average, and again I'm just pulling on some average things that I'm looking up on Google, the average student debt that people are coming out with after their bachelor's degree is $30,000. But again, this number can change. How much is your specific student loans? So your numbers can change a lot on these student loans. It all depends on more specific factors like what school did you go to? Did you go in-state or out-of-state? Did you go to a community college, a state college, or a really prestigious, well-known college like Harvard that costs way too much? And also, how long did it take for you to get that degree? So that overall will add up. Some of you guys may have more than 30,000, some of you guys may have less than 30,000. Each factor itself has little sub-factors that you have to think about when trying to answer this question. And lastly, really, to me, the biggest important factor is what is your lifestyle like? So are you living like bare bones, just potato and water? Or are you trying to live like the Gucci life? Because now that you have an engineering degree, you think that you're making a lot of money, so you spend more than you make, or maybe you're just breaking even. If you're like depriving yourself and you're saving everything you have, then yes, probably you're gonna pay off that student loans really fast because you're living off of nothing. But if you're living the Gucci life, then you're probably buying more into personal materials than you are paying off those student loans. So that might take much longer for you to pay off. So that was just an example of some averages that I got off of Google, but now I'm gonna give you my real numbers. So currently right now, I am making $78,500 a year. When I graduated and got my engineering degree, the loans I took off totaled to $28,000, including interest. So it took me a year and a half, or almost two years, to get my degree. Again, roughly near the average $30,000. If you watch some of my previous videos, you know that I'm saving about $2,000 a month from my budgeting. So I make about $4,000 every single month, $2,000 of which goes to my necessary bills, $2,000 of which I'm saving. So overall that means I'm saving $24,000 a year. And honestly, I'm sort of living like a pretty comfortable life when I'm paying for all these necessary bills. I have food, I have water, I have everything I need, and I'm still able to save this much. So given my current situation, that means I'm able to pay off my student loans in 14 months while living a pretty comfortable life in Los Angeles, California, where everything is super expensive. And again, I know these numbers will vary depending on the degree, the state at which you live, your lifestyle, and so on. The answer is not always so obvious. There is no yes or no. It all depends on these certain factors. And honestly, I'm really against having people pay off their student loans for 10 years. That's just way too long. If you got your engineering degree, then you can definitely do math. The longer you wait, the more you have to pay, so get rid of those loans as soon as you can. Just stay focused, be dead set onto getting rid of it, and then enjoy the rest of your life. Don't let that burden of student loans cling on you for 10 years. Get your engineering degree now. Please.